everlasting youth i guess everyone wants it and that is the reason why cosmetic procedures have been increasing exponentially worldwide and since the face is the most visible and expressive part of a human body the maximum number of cosmetic procedures are done on the face hello everyone i am dr dushant kalva i am a consultant plastic and cosmetic surgeon at inform clinics hyderabad since the face is given so much importance aesthetically especially in terms of anti aging or anti sagging uh, treatments today i will be discussing uh, anti aging treatments in terms of the cause the components and also the available treatments before i discuss the uh, anti aging treatments in detail it is very important to understand what exactly ages in the face i mean what causes wh what changes occur in the components of the face that holistically produce an aged face so to make it easy to easier to understand i have divided these into three distinct components first is the skeleton of the face next is a soft tissue that is the muscle and the fat present in the face the third is the skin all these three components individually age as we pass through life so each one of them has a specific pattern in aging so i will be discussing in detail about these three components which will give you a better understanding about aging then we shall discuss the treatments that are options uh, treatment options that are available for anti aging let us start with a discussion of aging in the skin out of the three components skin is the one that is most exposed to the external environment and hence aging features are also most visible in the skin as we age the collagen and elastin components in the skin decrease drastically thinning out the skin so that wrinkles are easily formed and easily visible not only that when the collagen and elastin components in the skin decrease the skin tends to sag because of the effect of gravity added to this are our habits and lifestyles of the person for example a smoker would age much more faster because smoking causes much rapider decrease or much rapid absorption of collagen and elastin in the skin similarly prolonged exposure to the sun causes the person to look much older than they are and especially in women when the after menopause when the hormone levels in their body decreases drastically it decreases the elastin and collagen in the skin and also the subdermal fat of the skin causing it to sag very fast so these are the generalized aging features or aging things that happen in the skin that causes our skin to sag down as we grow older the next component we'll be discussing is a soft tissue this soft tissue is located right beneath the skin of the face this comprises broadly of the muscle and the fat in terms of aging there are two things that occur to the soft tissue one is the effect of gravity which causes the soft tissue to dislocate from its position downwards as we age because of the effect of gravity the other is resorption that is decrease in volume of the soft tissue this is most pronounced in the malar pad of fat see there is a pad of fat right on your cheekbone it's called a malar pad of fat this fat undergoes both the changes of aging one is descent the other is resorption so as we age the volume of this fat decreases and not only that the anchor points the the fibrous tissue that anchors the fat to the bone weakens and this pad of fat dislocates downwards hence we see that there is a hollowing over the cheekbones and there is a fullness just above the nasolabial folds with a prominence of nasolabial folds this is one of the most visible and uh, common example of an aging face where the face is very taut there is no fold there is flatness here and there is fullness of the cheekbone in youth the exact hop uh, exact of it happens as the person ages there is hollowness here there is fullness right beneath the cheekbone and there is a very deep nasolabial fold so the soft tissue components 
uh, sag down and also decrease in volume as we age. The third facial component that I would like to discuss is the facial skeleton itself. Now most people assume that the bone is hard and it is not subject to any changes. However, the bone is a very the living bone is a very dynamic organ system and it is subject to all the changes of aging and also ill health or whatever health issues a person uh, goes through. So, in, in essence what I mean to say is a bone is a dynamic thing, it also changes. For example, if you take the jaw bone, the mandible of a young person, it is about 4 centimeters in its vertical height. If the jaw bone of the same person were to be measured when he is about say 70 years old, it will hardly measure 2 centimeters in height and that is only one example. The rest of the facial bones also are subject to similar changes with aging. So, it is not only the skin, not only the muscle, not only the fat that undergoes changes with aging, but also the facial skeleton that undergoes aging as well. I hope uh, you have understood what exactly goes on uh, in an aging phase or what exactly are the components that undergo changes to cause a phase to age. Let us proceed to what are the remedies available to uh, counter these aging features. So, broadly you can classify them as surgical and non-surgical and today I will be discussing the non-surgical part of anti-aging process. Non-surgical anti-aging treatments are more sought after since there is no risk of surgery, there is no downtime of surgery, hence most people prefer to undergo non-surgical treatments. Non-surgical treatments are squarely aimed at countering the effects of aging that is the effect of gravity that is sagging. So, non-surgical, there is a non-surgical treatment that takes care of pulling up the facial tissues that have sagged down and the second non-surgical treatment is aimed at volumizing the face where the face has lost volume due to aging. And the third one is aimed at preventing the wrinkles seen on the face. So, between these three components mostly we can achieve a very reasonable anti-aging process. Having said that most of the non-surgical treatments are suitable for people in the early stages of aging. If, for example, a very severe facial sagging and uh, wrinkliness of the face may not be suitable for non-surgical treatments and one has to go for something called a facelift which is a surgical treatment. So, let us discuss the treatments individually. Let us start by discussing the treatment that we give for sagging skin, sagging facial soft tissue as well and this is done by threads. The threads that we use the latest generation ones are the barb threads that have directional barbs on them and uh, these threads are the most popular ones that are used to restore the sag tissue to their original location. The threads that we use today are absorbable barb threads. These threads are inserted from specific locations in the face and then the tissue is pulled up using these threads and hitched up at a higher plane. For example, to treat the nasolabial folds and the jowls that come with aging, threads are inserted from the sideburn area well hidden by the hair of the sideburns and these threads are passed in different directions to pull up the tissue, to hitch up the tissue so that the nasolabial fold and the jowls are effaced and the face looks fuller in the upper half and it feels much more youthful. This is only one such example. Then the other examples are facial threads that we use to lift the brows, then facial threads that we use to create a very sharp jawline, so on and so forth. What these threads do is they hitch up the tissue all right, but these threads are absorbable. These threads melt away in about 6 to 9 months of time, leaving in their place a collagen strand which is supposed to hitch up the tissue for much longer time. These threads are not a permanent solution for anti-aging and they are about 9 months to 1 year solution, a medium term solution for anti-aging. However, they can be repeated 
for some number of times after which when the person ages further he will we would be requiring a surgical solution for anti aging the second modality of anti aging treatment is fillers fillers are the as the name suggests are used to fill that is volumize the areas of the face that have lost volume fillers that we use are typically made of hyaluronic acid molecules which is cross linked the more cross linkages the denser the filler so we categorize the fillers into the superficial intermediate and the dense types which are used at different depths of the face to suit that specific purpose for example a very dense hyaluronic acid filler which has got lot of cross linkage between its molecules is given to volumize the cheekbone so what happens when a deep filler such as that is given over a cheekbone is it not only has a volumizing effect here it also has an indirect lifting effect so we can volumize and have a mild lifting effect at the same time similarly fillers can be given into lips that have got thinned out with age fillers can be given to nasolabial folds fillers can be given uh, under the brow to cause a mild lifting effect fillers can be used to fill the cheeks that have become hollowed out due to aging due to volume loss and so on fillers also can be used to define the jawline fillers can be used to elevate the nasal tip so fillers have got innumerable uses provided they are used in the the right kind of filler is used in the right kind of location for the right kind of indication the third important component of an anti aging treatment is botox botox or botulinum toxin is a toxin as the name suggests what it does is it weakens the muscles underneath the skin that cause wrinkles and hence gives a smoothing effect for example any if if you have observed a person who is 45 or 50 or so when they smile you get something called a crow's feet this occurs because the muscle the orbicularis oculi muscle that is underneath the skin contracts when somebody smiles this contraction does not produce wrinkles in a younger person because of the large amounts of fat and collagen and elastin in the skin however in an old person or older person who has lost significant amounts of collagen or elastin in the skin the skin is thin and hence the contraction of this particular muscle is seen or transmitted in the form of wrinkles onto the surface of the skin so what this botox does is it weakens that particular segment of that muscle that causes the wrinkles and when that person smiles after taking botox treatments the muscle does not contract and does not produce those wrinkles similarly in the forehead forehead wrinkles are, can be treated by botox uh, botox also can be used to indirectly cause a brow lift so between the threads the fillers and the botox a significant amount of anti aging can be achieved without the need for surgeries in a suitable patient not only these these three particular treatments can be augmented further by surface treatment for the skin of an aged skin an aged skin usually looks duller there might be freckles they might be aging spots they might be something called dpns these there are numerous other minor treatments like laser resurfacing like uh, chemical peels uh, like mesobotox so on and so forth what these treatments do is augment the effect of these three of these three main treatments that is fillers botox and threads and together a significant amount of anti aging of the face can be achieved i'd like to conclude this topic by saying that anti aging treatment is an art form which is dependent on multiple factors the two main factors being the patient factor and the doctor factor the patient factors are the health of the patient the social standing of the patient the targets that the patient wants to achieve with this kind of treatment the doctor factors are the doctor's ability to assess correctly what the aging features are and how they can be tackled and not only that it also depends on the doctor's ability to understand what the patient actually needs in terms of anti aging so it is a seamless amalgamation of the patient factors and the operators or the doctor's factors that will give the best result if you have any more queries please drop it in the comment box and i'll be happy to answer to them as soon as possible please do not forget to subscribe to your youtube channel 
and press the bell icon for further notifications. And thank you for patient listening.